Hey, how's it going? Good to have you back. And today we're continuing with the Skyrim mod reviews. And this is a second of a couple of portable home mods I'm showcasing. Both serve as small player homes and improve your quality of life in general day-to-day -day gameplay. The first video was of the Haven Bag. And in this video, we'll be looking at the Staff of Shalador. And as always, check out the reviews on the mod before you download it, and always, always hard save before you download and install a mod. Okay, let's crack on. This mod is available on PC and Xbox One, and as far as I know, sadly, not the PS4. The links to the mod are included in the description. The mod was produced and created by Haim Projects, hopefully I've said that right, and ported to Bethesda site for use with the Xbox One. And you can also get the PC version there as well, so you've got Nexus and Bethesda for the PC version. This is a great home for any player that doesn't want the whole family kids thingy. It's particularly useful for certain role playing characters and of course surviving, su surviving? survival mode. In my previous video on the Haven Bag I said these two mods are very similar and yet very different and now you can see what I mean. Whilst the Haven Bag is a very simple mod essentially keeping everything in one room, the Star for Shadow is a complex fully crafted home where up is down and down is sideways. It's a real kick in the nads for your senses. So what I'll do is I'll list what it has to offer and give my thoughts whilst the video shows a real story. And FYI, I've made sure I'm carrying too much before I go in to demonstrate some of the benefits of this house for you. When you enter the game for the first time with a mod installed, you receive the Star Shadow Door directly in your weapons inventory. To enter the home, you'll have to equip the staff and then unequip it to go back to Skyrim. Inside uh, the home, you will find uh, a bed, plenty of containers, chests and shelves, etc. A couple of mannequins, a tanning rack, a sharpening wheel, alchemy table, enchanting table, uh, an anvil, workbench, cooking pot and lots uh, of other assorted bits and bobs. Now, a quick FYI followers won't follow you in however i have read a couple of cases where a follower has come into the home with the player and console commands have had to be used to get them out but it seems this is very rare but please bear this in mind uh, there's no mini smelter the bed will give you the well rested bonus and the home can't be used in combat and as a haven bag if you store your loose in storage chests when you come out of the home you're no longer carrying too much which is an amazing feature so in effect once you've cleared out a level and a barrow for example and have the all clear you can loot to your little heart's content store your loot in your home uh, you can collect the ingots ingredients ores etc and move on which is amazingly helpful especially at lower levels and i'll demonstrate this at the end of the video okay as i said before i let the video do the talking and i'll leave my final thoughts on both mods at the end of this video
Okay, my final thoughts on these two portable homes are they are fantastic additions for many players. The ability to store your loot on the go is undeniably helpful, especially at a lower level where every septum counts. It's now worthwhile to actually stop at the ore vein and mine it. Pick up every ingredient and ingot, whereas before you were juggling with your inventory, sorting out what to keep or drop, you can now just keep everything. As to which one of these mods to go for is entirely up to your personal taste. The Haven bag with a smelter and having everything in one room is probably the more practical choice, but the Starford Shadow is obviously the more complete and polished home. Whichever one you choose, you will not be disappointed, and I've got to say kudos to both mod authors. Well done, fantastic work. Hope you enjoyed the video guys. See you later. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like, leave a comment, and please do subscribe. If you'd like to see more videos like this, then push the bell next to the subscribe button after you subscribe, obviously. Later.